getting a take from Berger. But oh dear, oh dear. Oh, you. Well, let us hope and pray that Ricardo Patrese is all right as he clouted Gerhard Berger's car. But they like this. Here's a replay now. Watch Patrese as he comes through, and he just. I think he just must have mistimed it slightly. Studying the replay, it's amazing that from such a collision, Cathy could emerge relatively unscathed. Indeed, it's a testament to the improved safety standards in Formula One that he was not seriously injured. The car was a write-off. It was lifted off the track in segments. The whole of the back end totally ripped away from the rest of the chassis. Even the aftermath of the accident was a fright. By Eddie Irvine and Eric Bernard, that's Martin Brundle in the McLaren out in front. There is only one place he's going to end up, and that is in the tire wall. Rear first, front follows, bang! Oh, and that is very bold. Bye. Oh, out, out goes Schumacher. He, Damon is coming in. Now that's bad from Schumacher. Schumacher should have known his car was damaged. Oh, uh, qui arrive et oh là là, eh bien oui, oh, 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 il est télescopé en revenant. Aussi du côté propre de la piste en naissant en cinquième, à l'autre saut troisième aussi. On revoit là, oh là 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 là, quel choc, quel choc, mais ça vraiment on a... As if to illustrate just how dangerous and unpredictable the bank corner is, the world champion Ayrton Senna got it wrong turning in. He hit a bump at 180 miles per hour plus, got sideways, spun and flipped the McLaren against the tire wall. And take it cross the chase, Berger! schon gezeigt hat, er will überholen, übers Nasse kann natürlich nicht bremsen, da gibt es noch Bodenwellen, er verliert das Auto und rutscht ins Aus und schauen Sie, das ist Zeitlupe, wie schnell das Auto hier verschwindet, die Kamera kann nicht mal folgen. Und dann plötzlich hier. Dahinter. Abflug! Derek Warwick schlägt eine Leitplanke ein und es brennt. Someone would run into trouble, oh, and that's one of the McLarens. That is uh, Kimi Raikkonen, I believe, is it? Who has had a bit of an incident, and yes, it is Raikkonen as well for Montoya. Let's take a look. Here it is, down into that uh, turn 10 zone, breaking downhill into the left hander, and no, uh, there isn't really are... much to hit at all, is it? Well, the rear wing had gone, but I think the wheel, I think the wheel had probably knocked that off already. So. <laughs> now you see him coming in oh something terrible happened it looks like he caught the grass on the right hand side right. and slid all the way down the barrier i've not seen that before maybe something broke in the car possibly im hintergrund hinter frenzen das ist david kosad oh abflug von heckinen heckflügel ist weg ah böse über die bühne geht ja hier verschaut ein reifen dreher 300 hat er da drauf auf ja, der Bremse. Genau, das ist kurz vorm Bremspunkt gewesen. Also mit rund 300 zerreißt in den Reifen und voller Dreher. Zum Glück, das Drehen hat er, weil er ja für mehr Runden noch Sprit an Bord hat. Ralf Schumacher hat Frenzen überholt. Und Abflug! Ah, Eifeld und Sato, schwerer Unfall!
et Alain Prost a déjà conversé avec l'un des médecins. Le docteur Pontus est venu donner des nouvelles à Alain Prost. Le manager de l'écurie, le propriétaire de sa propre écurie, bien entendu, dont les essais s'étaient particulièrement bien déroulés pour Alain Sarrat-Franzen, qui a posé des problèmes, Alain Sarrat-Franzen, qui maintenant c'est le chien de Boutique, un euh, qui est le plus difficile pour Alain Prost et ses hommes. 